Hey gang. Well, it may be the end of the line for WWE pay-per-views for this year, but that's all I got. <laughs> but let's check out what happened at WWE Roadblock end of the line. Boy, I can't wait for the next one, which we're going to call Roadblock Speed Bump to who knows where. All right, the pre-show match was Big Cass versus Rusev, and your winner by countout, Rusev. I gotta move that back a little bit because I got some big pictures. Uh, first match of the pay-per-view was the tag team titles between the New Day against Cesaro and Sheamus, and your winners and new tag team champion Cesaro and Sheamus. Then there was a ten-minute match between Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman, and your winner, Sami Zayn, survived. Then there was a match between Seth Rollins and Chris Jericho. Your winner, Seth Rollins. And then there was a uh, three-way cruiserweight title match between Rich Swan, TJ Perkins, and Brian Kendrick. Your winner and still cruiserweight champion, Rich Swan. Very cool. Then there was the 30-minute Iron Woman match for the for the women's title between Sasha Banks and Charlotte. And your winner, what a shock, Charlotte. In overtime. And then there was the universal title up for grabs as Kevin Owens defended against Roman Reigns. Your winner, still universal champion, thanks to outside interference, Chris Jericho. But, of course, Kevin Owens won by disqualification. Okay. Good freaking lord. A lot of people didn't like the first roadblock from earlier this year, and I can't imagine what other people are going to think about roadblock into the line. Uh, big cast Rusev. Rusev wins by count out. Um, hopefully this whole rivalry is going to be done before too long. Cause I just, it, it seems kind of pointless and, uh, you know, it's like big cast is going in there to kick butt for little brother and, uh, it's like, eh, Okay. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus become the new tag team champions. Uh, again, I really hate to say it, but it was about time because, you know, I mean, New Day, y you had to know that once they they became the longest reigning tag team champions now, that their tag title reign was going to come to an abrupt end. And... Uh, you know, some people can look at look at somebody holding the title or a tag team holding titles, and you know, after a while, they're kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. But then, but then they, you know, they keep they keep holding it by hook or by crook or something like that. And after a while, people are just like, they're still holding a championship belts. Good God, come on, let's let's uh, <laughs> let's get somebody else to hold those titles so we can hate them in about thirty or forty days. <laughs> but no, um. New Day being the t being uh, tag team champions for that long and breaking Demolition's record. Uh, from what I read and heard, it upset a lot of people, upset a lot of fans. And um, But now Cesaro and Sheamus have the tag titles, and who knows where that's going to go. Maybe they'll be champions for a good long while. Probably not as long as the New Day, but... Uh, <laughs> because I think after about a couple of months, people are going to get tired of that too, and they're just going to sit there and kind of go like... Still, they're still tag team champions. Uh, Sami Zayn lasting 10 minutes with Braun Strowman. Uh, again, it didn't seem like it was really a match that... Um, that really is like, you know, went up by pinfall or submission. It was just like, just last. And I can remember a lot of times when they did matches like this, you know... Um, and it was like, you know, the little guy versus the big guy. One of the last ones I remember was, um... Uh, what was that dude's name? Um, he was, um... Bald dude with a really deep voice. He was, um... <laughs> he was Senshi and TNA, and then he... And, of course, before that, he was low-key. So, yeah, low-key in WWE. I think it started with a K. I don't know. He didn't last very long after he won, after he won the second season of, N of NXT. But, um, yeah. 
uh, <laughs> he, he did a match with a big show and was like, oh, if you last, you'll be on Team SmackDown for bragging rights, which is still one of the stupidest pay-per-views they could have done. But yeah, Sami Zayn lasting with Braun Strowman. It was kind of predictable there, too. Uh, Seth Rollins defeating Chris Jericho. Uh, not too surprised about that one, honestly. Um... You know they they they're really pushing Seth as a good guy, and you know that's that's pretty cool. So yeah. <laughs> now he says he wants Triple H, and he's like, "We're doing this again." Okay. Uh, Rich Swan keeping the cruiserweight title from T.J. Perkins and Brian Kendrick, and then Neville comes down and turns heel on Rich Swan. Do you know how? Do you know? Why he turned heel? Because he grew facial hair. <laughs> that always seems to be the number one thing that happens. You know, a clean-shaven good guy, uh, pardon me, um, leaves for a couple of months for whatever reason, heal an injury, um, to go do a movie, anything like that. Then they come back, and it's like they grow facial hair, and instantly you just go, bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, when I when I saw him with facial hair, I went, "Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be a bad guy. Yeah, he's gonna go out there." And, but uh, Neville now in the cruiserweight division. This is this, I think it's gonna get pretty interesting. Uh, Charlotte defeating Sasha Banks to get back the women's title in overtime of the Iron Woman match. Who didn't see that coming? Come on. Is that we gotta keep Charlotte undefeated on pay per view? Why? It's getting boring. Uh, Kevin Owens keeping the Universal title from Roman Reigns by disqualification. It's due to the fact that Chris Jericho goes in there, gives the code breaker to Kevin Owens, and causes the DQ for Roman Reigns. And then afterwards, uh, Seth and Reigns do sort of a uh, double-team powerbomb to him through an announce table, and that was pretty cool. Uh... <laughs> Uh, probably going to see a tag match on Raw between uh, Rollins and Reigns and uh, Jericho and Owens. Uh, more than likely, probably see all three of them in the Royal Rumble. Um, that's what that's what the course is coming up next month. I'll I'll say this much: I'm going to make one of my picks already to win the Royal Rumble. I'm going to go with Seth Rollins on that one because they really need to stop making them so doggone predictable every year. All right, want to get some shout-outs to some guys? I hope you go go subscribe, too. And, uh, and of course, I'll have the names in the bottom, uh, in the description part. Uh, Will's World, Attitude Era Nation, Attitude Era Nation, Sammy Guevara, The Whole Effin' Show, One True Fan, Slat Rock, What Culture Wrestling, Rassle Reel, Colt Cabana, Gordon Maston. Tomer Hannon 15, WWE Replay, RF Video 1, yeah, uh, <laughs> your boy Compton, Danny Nightmare, Christian Miracle, Trader Jack 641, Matt Jericho, Rad Pro Embryonics, Title Match Wrestling, World Famous Flea Market, Hockey Mask Guy, NorCal Pro Wrestling, Richard Land, Wrestling with Regret, Hayden Huffman, Spot Show Wrestling, WCPW, KFA Commentaries, uh, oh, I put WWE replay on here twice by mistake. Sorry about that. High Spots, WrestleManiac 1130, Ring of Honor Wrestling, GFW Wrestling, Wrestling Collector, and WrestleLamia. So there you guys have it. The Roadblock End of the Line results. I'll try to be back here again next month with the Royal Rumble picks and the Royal Rumble results. And might have a few more picks of who I think is going to win the Royal Rumble. I usually go between 5 and 10 picks of who's going to win the Rumble match, but right now I'm going to go with Seth Rollins, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the show, uh, if you checked it out, and uh, did you have a favorite match, least favorite match, and um, everything like that. And, of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time around as this continues on. And hopefully 2017 will start off with some... Good wrestling pay-per-views. I know that's asking for a lot. <laughs> Take care, you guys. God bless you all. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong and rock on.